Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee. And one thing I've realized today, while on the Work and Draft server, is that I still really need to build myself some sort of actual turret thing that I could use to reach this if I did not have a jetpack. You know, if I want to build my sky base adventure captain base, well, I'm going to need a tower of terrible, terrible, um, I don't know, what do you call it, altitude? Height. There we go. Height is a physical measure of altitude. I need a lot of height to get up here. Now, I've got this kind of thing built already here with this magic purple stuff that, you know, can be used to teleport folks from dimensions and things. And I feel like that should probably be... Whoa, that's a pit. That should probably be kind of the uh, center of my elevation tower. And so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Oh... Yeah, I guess what I want to do is I want to add dirt around here, like so. Now, kind of what's wonderful about the um, little shovel of magic happening things that we've got going on over here is that, whoa, I can just keep adding dirt with one click in like a 3x3 three three grid. So, kind of go, whoops, was not what I wanted to do there. Okay, so if I just keep adding a bunch of dirt up here, then the easy thing about this is that ultimately all I have to do is then swap out that dirt with something else, really anything else, using the wand of, oh, uh, what do you call it, the purple one, equal trade, right? So, step one, make a massive earth tower kind of thing. Step two, make a... Uh, massive obsidian tower by trading all the dirt for obsidian or stone or or something. I think the easiest way to do this is probably going to be to hit the corner pieces first. Whoa. And kind of make uh, towers here. Yeah, see? And that's going to start eating through our dirt, but here we go. So then this is corner number two. And now I'm, now I'm suffocating inside my tower, which is also off-center. Because, you know, nothing I do is ever completely right the first time. So I figure I can just... Whoop. And, okay. So I really should have thought about this maybe first, but whatever. So as long as I just don't hold down the button, it's easy enough to kind of keep it... I should have been counting how many, uh, how many clicks or how tall these are. See, I make mistakes so you don't have to. This is a learning experience for you guys, too. See, so then I can just kind of go through here, like so. And now, you know, we're getting our little tower thing going on. Now, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling... Whoa. Did I just run out of dirt? And I just ran out of dirt. Okay, so step two is going to be to find a bunch of extra dirt somewhere that we can use. I really don't want to just destroy the landscape here. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll go ahead and take our wand of equal trade, and we'll get started. So we will put a single block here, like so, to indicate that that's what we want to swap out. And then that, we'll begin swapping dirt into our inventory until it is all gone. Or until we are all out of these stone bricks. See, isn't this... Oh, wait. Unfortunately, what I didn't take into account was that this wall... So, I, I guess I lost some extra stone bricks into the wall here. But that's fine. I was going to have the dirt... The, the wall filled with dirt on the inside. Because, like, if you go through here, it only uh, changes the outer blocks. But whatever. That's fine. And what I can do after this is I can replace some of these with the, uh, you know, crack stone brick or... Uh, mossy stone brick and you know still get it kind of cool looking so here we go let's just go ahead and start there cool now we got a little bit more dirt and we can just come back through with our shovel again wait I could dispense the bricks directly with the shovel wow Okay, well, that's neat. I'm going to need to make a new shovel real quick, so I will time skip, but see you in just a moment. Shovel ski up!
and I have created for myself a new shovel of the earth mover which I can use to you know add all manner of earth uh, goods all over here like what I'm kinda thinking though as I'm looking at all this whoa so it seems to add or it seems to try to add whatever material you're already hitting so if for example I'm hitting stone it'll add stone if I'm hitting uh, you know uh, what do you call that stuff that dang it uh, dirt if you're hitting dirt it'll add dirt right if you're hitting stone it'll add stone but I can always you know trans uh, transfer these across now one thing I'm also realizing though is that I'm gonna probably need a way uh, I was originally thinking I was gonna put in a ladder or something to move stuff upward here but what I'm really kind of dreaming in my heart of hearts is uh, I could put a teleporter system going on up here. Um, if I take, or not teleporter, a levitator system. If I get some of these arcane levitators here and I fix these uh, appropriately. So let's say that uh, this tower up here, well for one thing all of these towers are going to need some lights on them because this is just a, a massive problem waiting to happen and I need to get out from well, not hitting the wrong buttons so we're gonna add some lights up onto these towers so we don't have to deal with mobs oh and uh, sometimes mobs will find their way to you otherwise or anyways where'd he go yeah that's right you stay back I got my lightning wand. I will cast thee out. Yeah, that's right. You better run. You better run. Okay. So, I'm going to want to add some levitators here to allow me to jump up or ascend to the highest position there. So, I can just use my axe here, which is, of course, not the correct axe for the job, but whatever. So I think that three or four of these should be what I need. That's one. Not enough. And it's going to get increasingly difficult to add these. Two. Wow, I only needed two of those. Awesome. Now I think that those should work through transparent blocks. So if I add two of these here... Awesome. So I can still just fly up to here, no problem. So, great. And if I really want to, what I can do is I can come in here and I'm going to want to hit these with my wand to remove them. Whoops. And I think I can just use my pick on these, or is it, do I use my wand? Or my axe? Oh, axe. Okay, cool. So, Let's go ahead and actually place these slightly higher, just because we don't need them quite that low. Oops. Okay, so we'll fill in that lowest rung. And then we will hold shift and click with our shovel of the excavator to make a nice little 4x4 four four area that can be our ascent pad. Ooh, 4x4 four four is kind of big, isn't it? Because I've only got... I'm going to need some of these to come back down. So, okay, maybe 4x4 four four is, is going to be out. But we'll do 2x2. Two two and, whoops, whoa. We will now add the uh, wonderful glass here. And I'm kind of thinking that it might be neat to uh, glass over all of that. Wonderful. Now, that, that's actually not high enough to get me onto the ship itself, but I can have, like, a ladder or something that does that. Um, now, technically with my jetpack boots, or whatever, or my jetpack, I can survive that fall pretty easily. But I'm gonna want to have, just in case, a location that I can fall down safely and not take a ton of damage. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna add, extend this out a little. Whoa! Thank you, thank you, glitch in shovel. You are indeed my favorite shovel, okay. So, shift clicking with the shovel, do not hold, um, or sneak clicking. Okay, 
Great, so now we need a little bit of light to ensure that no mobs will sneak up and kill us up here. Okay, now I think we're going to want to put our descent point on this side. Okay, and we will replace the torch that we removed there to make sure nothing goes crazy. And so, for right now, I haven't, like, really structured this properly. But, I mean, we, we can come back in later and make this actually look right. Okay, so that's the height of the first set, second set, and then the overhang. Cool. So now what we can do is we can take these arcane levitators and add them here as a descent slow fall thing. So even though I don't have my jetpack or my magic boots on anymore, I'm still fine coming back down there. And let's go ahead and remove these uh, now that we're not going to need them. And if I come back up here, this will be easier once there's a wall there to hold me steady. Great. So I now have a safe way to ascend and descend without all the hard, um, you know, ladder climbing and whatnot that is so famous. Wait a second, how did I walk... Okay. How did I walk up that if I took off my boots? I'm still able to walk up one block things, even though I don't have my boots of the Traveler on anymore. Is that just something that's new in Feed the Beasts? Did they uh, remove the need for special equipment for that? I'm going to die if I'm not careful here. Let's go ahead and munch on something real quick. I'm not still jetpacking, even though my jetpack's off. Huh. Well, that's good to know. I'll have to keep an eye on that. And, uh, of course, like I said, we'll build some sort of stairwell up to here. Uh-oh. I have gotten jump boost because of one of those crazy dangerous aura nodes there. We don't want to have this high enough to scrape the bottom of that, actually. That's, that's a concern. Because if this scrapes the bottom of that, it'll, like, start shearing stuff off. So actually having this here is a huge liability. Hmm. I may end up needing to move this somehow so that I have like a partial descent somehow like, hmm. What I could do is continue these stairs downward possibly and then just have a safe place that, you, that I would jump off here or something. Because yeah, I do not want to risk running my ship into these levitators. That would be no good. So we can go through here and continue swapping everything out. And looks like I'm out of stone blocks for now. But you get the general idea here. I'm tempted to kind of come in here and set up some sort of a, a glass wall or, or something in here. Just to kind of further deter the visitation of any mobs as might want to stop by. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do with all this um, in terms of aesthetics. But it is, of course, important to have anything you make look completely beautiful and awesome and wonderful and joyous. And I'm, I'm not there yet. I, this is such a, a basic idea. Like, I kind of just wanted to show you guys how you could quickly throw something together. And, like, we can make it better later. But, anyway. Um, and these are all different heights from each other. Well, or no. Two of these are different hats. One of these is the same as everything else. So we will reclaim those real quickly. And uh, what we're going to probably do here is... I can always... Um, I was going to say, if I put one of these here, can I, can I just use the shovel? Boom! Check that out. That is kind of impressive. I was going to say, I can just build this out for a little bit right now, and I can replace the cobblestone later using that same magic wand. So let's go ahead and build our two-block high wall. Maybe I'll put some arches in here, maybe I'll do something else, but, you know, uh, like I said, it's just it's fun to make stuff quickly and uh, rapidly deploy your prototypes. So this is what this is. This is a rapid deployment of a sky base accessibility dock. 
which took us like very short period of time to build and also has reinforced our little area here against uh, mobs coming into our nether portal. Probably should also put a warded door though actually in here somewhere. So let's go ahead and take this warded door back. Should stop removing my wand. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. And we can place this warded door. Let's say we put it on the side that faces all of our expensive fancy stuff over here. And so we will just put that right in here. Wonderful. And so now if I'm down in here, I still will have no easy way to get up. So we will quickly add ourselves a nice little glass staircase here. So in a hurry, without a jetpack, not needing to get up there, I could still come over here and then have to do this stupid little uh, jumping puzzle to get up here. But it works. So there we go. A quick sky base adventure construction uh, accessibility point using only tools from Thalmcraft and other elements of the game Minecraft. I used no external media for this. I didn't have to get out the popsicle sticks and the glue and the hoil cards and the uh, card clips or the binders and the binder clips. I didn't make a big stack of binders into a shape of a thing here as a prototype. I just built this from scratch myself. But you know what? This is just a proof of concept. We'll make something that's actually good with it later. So, till next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.